Hi, this is Andre from Om Nutritionist. I'm a qualified nutritionist, personal trainer, Aikido and self-defense instructor. I've got my own brand of uh, superfood blend products, uh, which is called Omni Superfood. Uh, today, I'm here to talk to you about quality of water and what sort of water to use and not to use, how to filter it, how to take care of it, that so you actually have the best type of water uh, in your body. As you all know, about 60% of our bodies are water. So depending how much we drink and what actually is contained in the water will directly affect how we feel. First of all, um, most of us are not drinking enough. So we need to, if you're talking about adults, uh, that probably we need to drink about three liters of water a day. Uh, that's, that's not counting teas and coffees. Um, so what can be found in the water? Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, I would not recommend tap water for drinking. Uh, reason being is that what you can find in the water is fluoride and chlorine, which are basically neurotoxins. These, these two, um, in some countries actually you only get, you only get uh, chlorine, not fluoride, but I'm just going to cover everything. So these two are neurotoxins that can actually directly affect uh, the brain function. Um, obviously adults are a bit more um, not as vulnerable as kids so sometimes kids can sort of develop uh, different sort of problems by drinking top water. Another thing that would be actually very important is heavy metals that can be found in the water. So these heavy metals are also very dangerous for, for kids in terms of um, some studies show that actually they can lower intelligence and can lead over the years of use uh, to uh, diseases such as Alzheimer. Um, another thing that can be found in water are, are actually is extensive amounts of calcium. This, this type of calcium that can be found, um, uh, for instance, in your, in your kettle, uh, it's, it's actually a type of calcium that your body cannot break down. So it can actually only break down certain amounts of this calcium, but after that it's being stored in, in, in the bones, in the joints, and actually can be found in your bloodstream or um, as, as um, this white plug that I've mentioned before as well. And actually it can cause uh, uh, hardening tissues and uh, narrowing your arteries and veins. Um, another thing that is sort of very sensitive to talk about is that actually in the water can be found female hormones that actually are present in there through um, you know the contraceptive and, and you know when women sort of go to uh, the bathroom they sort of um, urinate and release that in, in, the, in the water they can't be really cleared up properly so what I would say um, you really need to know how to how to prevent this to actually get in your body I would personally recommend uh, five stages reverse osmosis which is quite a sort of big filter. You've got different five stages that can filter all the things that I've mentioned, heavy metals, uh, fluoride, chlorine, um, even the uh, you know, sort of hormones, uh, calcification. So you actually get pure water, which is really, really great. You can, you can get them for very sort of good prices and it's very affordable. And actually, if you were going to buy bottled water, you save up much more. But um, you could get different add-ons because what happens is this will actually be only pure water, pure H2O. So you will have no minerals in there. So be, do be careful and just get, you could get these different add-ons uh, made of uh, Himalayan sea salt uh, or different ionizers and things like that that can actually put back the, the uh, minerals in the water. Um, another thing that most people don't actually know is it is great that you filter your, your drinking water. However, when you shower, your body absorbs about a glass of water. So another thing that I would really mention in here is actually shower filters. I mean, obviously have a look around. They're, again, they're affordable. You could get a good one for about 20, 30 quid. And they last about six months. And actually what it does to your skin and hair if, is, is, is really different. I remember when I got here first, uh, and I took a shower. <laughs> it was like I got facelifts, right? It was it was absolutely amazing. So the the, the water actually dries your skin completely. So getting um, uh, shower filter 
can prevent that can actually help you to have much better skin and and sort of hair and everything. Um, so um, yeah, this would be about about the quality of water. And uh, if you do have any questions or would like to ask anything, uh, you could uh, you could always you know post some comments below, and I'll be always happy to answer. Thanks for watching.